Hi, I'm Carolina Eich, I play the theremin, and in this lesson series I'm showing you how you can learn to play a major scale on the theremin in 12 simple steps, using the theremin technique that I developed. This is lesson number 11. If this is the first video you're watching, you might want to go back and start from lesson 1. I will leave the link to the playlist in the description below. Theremin lesson 11, finger position 2 and 4. Today we are going to learn all about the remaining two positions, position 4 and 2. Now to find position 4, we use a similar approach than finding position 3. First of all, as always, check your posture, check the distance and adjust the pitch field to your body and then tune the field to your hand so that you have an octave between position 8 and 1. Once you've done that, start on position 8, go to 5 and then pretend you're going to position 1 but actually you're gonna stop on position 4. And again you see uh, the angle of the ring. It's not vertical, it's not horizontal, but it's a bit angled, tilted. We can extend the fingers on position 4 to check if the rotation is correct. Now on 3 we got the 5th, on 4 we should get the 6th, the note we usually play with position 6. So let me demonstrate this. This is an extended position. Yeah, this is a different topic, won't talk about this today, but it's a good way to check if the rotation is correct. Now let's do the exercise 8, 5, 4, extended position, 4, 1. Yeah, you can do this first in legato and then also separate it. Now, how about we combine the exercise from the last lesson, from position 3, with position 4. We first do the 4 and then the 3, with the extended positions. Start slowly. If this is still too fast, like really start slow, with glissando, then Always check that your fingers are as relaxed as possible and later separate the notes. Now that we've got position 4, that's the last position left and that's position 2. Here we will go from the opposite side. We will start on position 1 because of course 2 is closer to 1. Opposite way. Make a comfortable position 1 and think you go all the way to 5, so like you keep that movement correctly, the rotation correctly, but you will stop on position 2. First slowly, glissando, and then a bit faster. Now, if you feel comfortable with that position as well, let's bring them all together. Let's go from 5, 4, 3, 2, and then 1. Maybe add the 8. The 8 is always good to have the frame, you know, to make sure uh, you stay in the right place in the air. And to double check, you can use the extended positions. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about the extended positions, you are very welcome to sign up for an online lesson with me. Until next time, learn your finger position 4 and practice the exercises which we did and then also 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And maybe repeat also 8 to 5 so we make sure everything is set. Learning an instrument is never easy, and of course this is just an introduction to the theremin technique. But if you want to learn more techniques in depth, 
I recommend you to buy my Theremin method book. You can find the link in the description of this video. In the next lesson, you are going to learn how to play the full scale. And I'm looking forward to seeing you then.